Hey everyone, the name is Eric Thor and in this video I want to talk to you about the autopilot and I want to warn you about the autopilot because it is a very easy thing to slip into. We can easily become just passive echoes of our environment. We can become too preoccupied with acting on everyone else's needs but our own. And we can become far too preoccupied with just going along with the crowd, falling around in this zombie mentality where we all slowly walk forward and hunger for brains. This analogy is perfect because this hunger for brains is obviously like if you are in the pilot or if you are in the autopilot you are starved from your own inner resources and gifts you are empty you are emptying yourself of your emotions your feelings your values your interests and your hobbies and so when you act you are starved for taking in other people's incentives an INFJ in the autopilot mode, in the ESTP mode, is a passive echo of what their environment wants. The INFJ in the ESTP mode is slowly fitted with the, with the situation, with the group. They are merely repeating and mirroring everyone else around them. They are, in many ways, lost from themselves. And overall, we are, in many ways, at risk of becoming kind of vampire-like in the sense... Okay, I uh, should probably stick to the zombie metaphor, but in a sense of uh, consuming other people's energy and needs and resources instead of developing and building our own. Obviously, there is the, the question of whether you should compromise and whether you should follow your own path. It's easy to kind of feel a desire to compromise, especially when we are in the role as kids uh, to our parents or to someone of higher experience. It's very easy to fall into that passive role where we merely go along with the other person without expressing our own wishes or will. But when you do, you are falling out of your natural dominant flow type and you are falling down into the zombie type into your reverse four letters, ENFPs becoming ISTJs, ESTJs becoming IS, INFPs, and ESFPs becoming INTJs. Now, we are always, we always need to be striving towards finding flow, passion, motivation, interests, you need to be looking for books to read, you need to be looking for movies you want to watch, you need to start working on projects that you'd like to finish, you'd like need to start finding ideas that you'd like to explore, uh, patterns you'd like to investigate, things you'd like to do, people you'd like to meet. And you need to start building up your own life to be a good person, like that's part of self-maintenance. Self-maintenance is taking yourself out to the cinema, even if you have no one to go with. Self-maintenance is working on or writing a novel. Self-maintenance is going out to see people, and self-maintenance can be also to work on mechanics or motorcycles or whatever it is you want to do. That's the core of this question. What is it you want to do? And what is it that makes you happy? We, we can talk however much we like about what we are in this very moment. You can describe yourself as you currently look, but who are you? Uh, and are you really what you are right now? Are you really when you are in that autopilot mode? Is that really a personality type? Or is it just uh, a kind of shadow version of it? So easy, it's, it's so easy to dismiss sensors as sheep or as lesser beings intellectually. And I see so many people fall into this trap. But really it's intuitives that are stuck in sensing that we need to be more wary of. It's the thinkers stuck in feeling that we need to be wary of. Those that fall into loops, those that in many ways are acting on the worst fits for their needs. And obviously this comes from a good reason. We have built schools and education systems and workplaces that don't cater to people's needs, that have this idea. There's this idea in society that there is this 
a box that every person fits into and if they don't fit into it they can be programmed to fit into it it's tabula rasa it's somehow become distorted into you can brainwash people to be whoever you want them to be schools can program kids to be perfect schools can uh, uh, get kids into pursuing the careers we want them to pursue and careers can shape people to do and act however they want but people are of course unpredictable and so many people are constantly falling out of the system people with bad grades people with uh, difficulties people who are fired so many people are struggling to fit in this system so something is clearly wrong I'm not talking here about like I'm not talking here about how we need to uh, enforce another box. I'm talking here about how we build a diverse society with workplaces that understand and that enable people's flow. Why should we do this? Why is this a, a good thing? Isn't the world perfect the way it is? Isn't everything just great? No. No, it's not. It's not, uh, it's not well built. We are not good built to deal with climate change. We are not good deal built to deal with the rise of AI. We are not well built to deal with all the new technology and all the internet and all the information around us. We are struggling to keep up with the, our own changes. We are struggling to keep up with our own technology. And we should be trying to change our approach here. We should be reshaping our schools to fit and understand the internet. We should be uh, changing our approach to education and science to fit with the new information age. We need to build new procedures. We need to start building new ways of working out. We need to think about how we can make smarter institutions, institutions better built for people's interest. And why? Because, well, when you do, you get workers that are more energized, you get workers that are more motivated, you get people that are working from passion, people that don't have to be uh, sh shepherded, people that don't have to be boxed in and controlled fiercely with surveillance systems and with various forms of uh, control mechanisms. You get people who act on personal incentives and that is something wonderful. My name is Eric Thor. Once again, thank you for watching this video and if you like this message, support me on my channel, write a good comment, share my video or join me on Patreon. Thank you all for watching and I am out of here. Thank you again. Wait, I already said that.